Hello, I'm Dr. Anil Gudi. I'm a consultant in reproductive medicine and surgery at the Homerton Infertility Center. I've been sent three cases which I plan to discuss with you. Now, case number one is a case of immature eggs. 32 year old lady who has usually 28 day cycle, AMH of 1.67 nanogram per ml, FSH of 6, antral follicle count of 12, two IUI cycles which were not successful an IVF cycle of an HMG varying from 225 to 300 and E2, I think it probably is in the Indian uh, context, probably picogram, is 1372, antagonal cycle. Trigger on day 10, pick up 35 hours, 7 to 8 follicles, 2 immature eggs. The question asked is, what should we do to have immature Eggs, how do we prevent immature eggs? The simple question here gets asked is, let's go back to the protocol. That's something which I want you to think about. Let's not jump to conclusions. And one of the problems with reproductive medicine is that you often end up jumping to, to the end point and then changing the points which matter at the end, which means the commonest question we get asked is, oh, collect the eggs later. Let's slightly go ahead with the protocol and start something which a lot of us forget. Let's do the troubleshooting. And troubleshooting is not jumping to conclusions, but to start from the basis. 32 year old, I believe the AMH is decent. The antral follicle count is decent. How many of us will measure the antral follicle counts before we start stimulation. And when I mean measure, I don't measure counting. I'm, I mean the sizes of antral follicles. Simple logic. Those follicles which are larger respond to FSH better. They stimulate much faster. In addition, the bigger the follicles will respond to F, a higher dose of FSH faster. Let's go back to what we have learned from my earlier talks, how is that plateau of FSH reached? You can either build it up rapidly, giving a very high dose of medications, or build it up somewhat slowly, giving a milder dose of medications. She had 12 antral follicles, and if that was the case just before we started stimulation, my question here is, why did we recruit seven to eight follicles, and why do we get only two oocytes? There's something going wrong here. And often, the cause of immature eggs, less eggs, goes back on the protocol. So let's go back to the protocol. A high dose of stimulation, 225 to 300. What is a lady cycle? The lady cycle is 28 days. We trigger on day 10 because the follicles are ready. Not the size of follicles, but the duration of stimulation that is critically important. Again, we move this trigger to two days before in a natural cycle a trigger is done. Could that be a cause? Possibly. What would I do in her next cycle? One is I would use a milder protocol. FSH HMG just does not matter. I would use a much more milder protocol, 150. I think that will work much better. Prolonged stimulation to 12 to 13 days. If you are worried, then let's come to the trigger. And in two weeks or three weeks time, I'm going to load a presentation on failure to get eggs and how we can change that. Think of either a dual trigger, an analog trigger and an HCG trigger, provided you're going for a fresh transfer. In those cases, I think that you'll be able to get more mature eggs. I do not think there's a major problem here. I think we need to go in much more, slower, stimulate in a more coordinated manner and see if that changes. This woman does not need donor eggs. She needs a stimulation which is slightly different. Let's step back and look towards a milder stimulation. 150, the use of if you want clomid or letrozole does not matter. Thank you very much.